Hey everybody and welcome back to another studio vlog. So I'm gonna film an intro for this one. I don't usually do this, but this vlog was kind of everywhere. So we figured I'd just film a little intro for you guys, but we've been pretty busy um, with the store. We did some holiday decorations and I've been getting ready for Black Friday, which I ordered a banner. It hasn't come yet, so you might not see that in this video, but pretty much we're going to be doing a Black Friday sale, buy to get one free here in the shop. So there's a lot happening in this vlog. It's a little bit everywhere, so I figured I'd hop on and just let you guys know. And I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, which is Anna Luisa. You know, we've been working with them for quite a while on the channel, and I wanted to show you guys what they have going on and talk more about their Black Friday sales. So I got some new pieces in from them. So as always, whenever you get Ana Luisa jewelry, it comes just like this. So it's pretty minimal. Um, one of their, um, you know, values is they're like eco-friendly. They don't like to do a whole bunch of packaging and waste. So it comes just like this. And it always comes with these like pouches also. So these are really nice pouches that you can reuse. You can keep your jewelry in them. They're pretty st uh, durable. They're like canvas. This one's almost like a velvet, but anyways, let's open it up and see what we got. So our first piece is this little 14, was it 14 karat chain? It's like a little hand. I like that one. It's one thing I like about Ana Luisa, it's different, but it's still like minimal. So you're getting like unique stuff, but it's pretty minimal. So we've got a necklace and then we've got a couple other pieces here. Um, and we've got these key earrings. So another fun fact about them is that they are carbon neutral. So they offset all of their carbon emissions, which is really cool for a jewelry company. Um, so I like, I like that about them also. And they don't use like, they don't mine for new diamonds or stones. They recycle um, stones that already exist here in the world so they don't have to spend you know energy and waste on mining for new stones so these are really cute too and one thing about their pieces you can stack them so I'm thinking this would look really cool if you did like studs and then stacked these and I like how these are asymmetrical kind of awesome and for black friday they are having some big sales over there so i think they're going up to um they're having different sales throughout the weeks and i think they might have at one point like 60 percent off on some pieces so you guys might want to check that out they have jewelry starting at 39 dollars all the way up to some higher end pieces so we definitely love anna luisa for their eco-friendliness for their unique designs they always have new stuff over there so if you guys are interested you can click the link in the description check out all of the discounts and just buy some gifts during these sales but anyways let's get back to the studio vlog and i will see you guys later hello everybody it's very bright <laughs> the sun's in my face but today's Sunday and I'm opening the store from 11 to 3 today. And then at 4, we have our Pop Shop live selling event. So between 3 and 4, I'm going to be kind of getting ready for the live stream event. So I'm probably going to be here until 5, working 11 to 5, not too bad. Okay, so we are T minus almost 15 minutes away from our Pop Shop event. But I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna set everything up. So the first station, I think I'm gonna start here because we have the neon. It says handmade candles, even though on camera, I think it's gonna be reversed for them, but you get the idea. Um, so we have the phone set up. We've got a long charging cable so I can make sure my live doesn't go off and my phone dies or something. But I'm gonna set up here, do the intro, blah, blah, blah. And then we're gonna move on to the snack station and show off some snacks. And then this is gonna be my mobile cart, I guess, as we walk around the store. Um, so the last time I did Pop Shop, um, I did all of the listings and stuff from the phone. But I'm thinking if I have like a little companion laptop with me, it's going to be a lot easier to manage listings instead of doing it straight from my phone. So that's, I'm going to try that. I haven't tried it yet. So you know how that goes. And then down here, I just have water because, you know, when you're talking live, sometimes your mouth gets dry. And we have our scent list plus our little notes there. So I think we're pretty much good to go, you guys. 
Hello, you guys. So I am so mad because the pop shop was a disaster. So I have, okay, so my phone is an iPhone SE and it's a little bit smaller than most iPhones because I mean, it was on the cheaper end and I don't feel like I need a huge iPhone, right? So the last time I did Pop Shop Live, it went perfectly on my iPhone. Now the app, I believe you can only do on iOS. So I used my iPhone just like I did last time. Well, it seems like they did some type of update or something because when I'm trying to add things into the catalog, like live, it does not work on my iPhone because um, it looks like the button kind of cuts off at the bottom of the screen. So I can't click the button and there's no way to make the button come up to where I can actually click it. So I had, you know, done my whole little candle presentation and I went to go show people mugs and they wanted to buy mugs. So here I am trying to put the mugs up on the screen and I couldn't click the button. It was just a disaster. That was kind of it, you guys. I was kind of upset with how the pop shop thing went and it went over a lot longer so it's now six o'clock and i was hoping to be done an hour ago so that happened anyways we are going to call it a night <laughs> go home and regroup i guess but um yeah i'll get back with you guys another day hello everybody it is monday so um it's actually already 1 p.m but we've been doing a lot of um just catching up on stuff uh, paperwork is the beginning of the month so a lot of paying bills admin stuff but I did take some time to design something new so I'm gonna show you really quick now I made some wax melts and then look at the packaging what do you guys think of the packaging um, I think I got to trim the label down a little bit it's just um, too big by like a hair so I just need to kind of adjust that just a tad but I really like it. What do you guys think? I think it goes with the brand really well. The longest I was doing macaron wax melts where it came in this kind of big packaging. So the uh, macaron packaging was really big. And when it comes to shipping it, it kind of, um, you know, customers were paying for the shipping, but it was just kind of a waste to ship that one little wax melt and I had to use like a big box to kind of a seven by seven box to hold the wax melt securely so but with this it'll be a lot cheaper you know on the shipping and the packaging the whole thing is cheaper anyway so I really like the packaging though I'm so psyched about the packaging but it's the same exact recipe and everything so a lot of customers really love the wax melts and I just wanted um, I actually got an email, so that's kind of what prompted me to go ahead and get on the ball with this. I had, ha I planned to do this a long time ago, and I had the clamshells and everything. I just was putting it on the back burner, and I got an email from a customer, and she was like, I really love your white tea wax melts. How can I order them in bulk? And I was like, let me jump on that. Um, so I made these, emailed her back, so hopefully she enjoys the packaging and the cheaper pricing. So now I have to get some type of wax melt holder. So maybe I'll, I'll get that on Amazon, those little racks I see everybody have, like those really fancy wax melt racks. Ooh, that's hard to say, wax melt racks. But that's what's going on today. So the shop is actually closed because it's Monday. So Monday I'm closed so that we can kind of catch up on whatever happened over the weekend. Um, we've got some candles here. So Devin went to lunch, but we've got candles here that he's working on. So he's working on this and this is going to be for, this is going to be for Amazon. So we're going to send these off to Amazon and I've got some orders that I need to ship off. So um, someone ordered a build your own Sunday candle. So I'm kind of excited about that. So we've got a Sunday candle and some other things, which everything is on the shelf. So these should be pretty easy to get through. And then I have a meeting at 4.30. So it's been kind of a busy day. Just a lot of people emailing me, messaging me, and um, having to worry about Black Friday also. I just picked up my phone and another candle maker friend was like, what kind of Black Friday sale should I do? I'm like, uh. So I'm thinking buy two, get one free um, in the shop. Now, as far as online, I don't know if I could swing buy two, get one free just because 
online, there's shipping, there's a whole bunch of other costs. I'll have to work that out logistically to see what we can do for online. Um, but yeah, definitely in the store buy to get one free. I ran the numbers and it's doable. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to order a banner. I feel like I'm just talking, 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 talking. But anyways, that's the plan, you guys. My husband is on a mission. He has gone to get some candle supplies. So he was off of work today. So I was like, could you go get the candle supplies? So those should be coming here shortly. But we've got a lot going on today. Oh, and I also had some... Um, business neighbors come over from across the street and I talked to them for about 20 minutes they were giving me the inside scoop on you know like how to run your business in this town and who to what group to join or whatever so um, it was really fun meeting them and I got some interesting tips so yeah Hello friends, so today is Sunday and I'm going to do another Pop Shop Live. So I'm trying to make this a weekly thing, hopefully on Sundays. This is the second week that I'm doing it. Um, and you remember the last week where it was just a total disaster. I honestly don't know what happened that day. Um, some just I just got lucky, and, <laughs> I guess you can say, and got some weird glitch because I emailed support and everything. They couldn't find the issue, so I decided to go on Pop Shop and do like a, a test run where no one else can see the live. 
and it worked fine. So it just was that particular day. I don't know what happened, but anyway, we are gonna try this again and hopefully it works a lot smoother, but let me show you my setup. It does kind of, now that it's getting darker sooner, it gets, even though we have lights and everything, it does get kind of dim in here as the sun sets. So I put um, these soft box lights on either corner of the room, kind of where I'll be stationed um, so that I can have some good lighting. So this is the pop shop, hello. <laughs> so this is the pop shop app and then I have it plugged in so we don't die. And then we have all of my featured products. So um, I can add products as I'm live. It feels like I'm talking into a camera. <laughs> We're live. Um, I can add products. So I just hit add products and I add these products in the shop pop, shop pop computer dashboard. Dang. Um, beforehand and these are all the products I have in my store. So I'm going to start out with the snack category. So I think it's more... I don't know, I think it's nicer when I add products on the um, as we go instead of just adding all the products at once, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I like to do that. And then um, as I'm ready to add new products, I'll go into the inventory and then just click on products to add. So, for example, I'm going to do a flash sale on my pillows, but I don't want to just add that at the beginning because I want to kind of hype it up to the flash sale. So when we get over to this area, I'll be like, and guess what? Today, pillows are on a flash sale. And then they get excited. And they're like, oh, my God, I want to get one. And I'm like, all right. And then so I add these products and then add the listings. And then as I'm talking, they'll just pop up right in this section on their screen so they can buy things at the flash sale price so anyways that's kind of um what i'm gonna be doing and hopefully it just runs a lot smoother you guys um but yeah so we're gonna start off at the snack section because yeah honestly maybe i should try to add like the little candy bars i don't know we're gonna start off at the snack snack section I have about 20 minutes, so I might hop on the computer and add the candy bars in. Um, and this just allows us to get kind of warmed up to the show so people can log in because I don't want to just start candles and then people are like, oh, could you go over that scent again? So this is kind of like our warm up section. And then we move over to candles. Once we're done with candles, we do the shop my shop, mugs, cards, this, this, and then we'll see how it goes this time. We'll see.